Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I wanted to respond on your comments on my again but better review video. Two weeks ago, I uploaded my Spilling the Tea on Again But Better by Christine Rich Show. And since then, I've gained a lot of views and a lot of subscribers. And I just wanted to say again, thank you so much for your support on that. But I've also received so many comments. I've never received as many comments on a video as this one. Now that I have heard so many of your guys' opinions, I want to clarify certain subjects, clarify certain things that I said or didn't say in that video, and also just react to some really funny comments as well. The first thing that I just Want to clear up because this is this has been the main like downside of this video the comments that i got about this subject were the most like negative i don't think they were negative at all they were just really like girl you said some things and we don't really agree with you and it's about shane's parents so if you haven't read again but better there will be a lot of spoilers in this video about the plot and stuff like that so just be warned if you haven't seen my spilling the tea like review video on this book i will leave a link somewhere here on the screen so you can watch it and then watch this video so the thing that i wanted to talk about first is about shane and her parents her parents are really controlling she has a very kind of like abusive relationship with them they kind of force her into medical school even though shane doesn't want to go to that school. A lot of people, I'm just, I have one comment that I just wanted to read out loud. I will not show the commenter's name in the video because if I have a, an opposing opinion to that person, I don't want it to come across as like a personal attack. Again, nothing in this video is a personal attack. This is just my opinion and I just feel like sharing it with you guys. But a lot of people commented like this comment a bit. No parent would do that is what I said in the video. I'm glad that you never had that experience, but it's very realistic for controlling and abusive parents to exist. Yes, even in the West, because I basically said that I feel like controlling parents are more in non-Western cultures. I'll further elaborate on that. I agree that parents should be understanding and support their children, but this isn't always the case. And some parents will even shout at their children in front of their friends. I actually completely understand why Shane never reached out to anyone. She literally was taught by her parents to never show any signs of resistance or unhappiness or expressing any negative thoughts. As a result, always saying, I'm okay, I'm fine. Emotional abuse, especially long term, does this to a person, which is very likely to be since she lived with her parents for most of her life. I just want to apologize for what I said about Shane and her parents and the situation. I think I am, especially now that these comments have surfaced a lot, I knew that I was very privileged with how my parents are. They're super supportive and they want me to be happy in life and do whatever makes me happy. I mean, I knew that there were controlling parents, but I definitely didn't know that there were that many controlling parents in the West as well. I mean, controlling parents, what I've learned is that controlling parents are everywhere. And the thing is, I just live in a very lucky environment where my parents want me to do what I want and where all of my friends' parents want them to do what they want as well. I've never had anyone in my environment that is being forced to do something against their will. I've definitely been corrected by you guys, thank you so much for this, that there are controlling parents everywhere, especially also in Western culture. They're just everywhere. That's not based on a culture. And I just want to say sorry for that. I've learned from my mistake. I still think in this book, it could have been worked out so much better. It felt like this subject could have been worked on so much more to have been a great part of the plot. And it felt kind of glanced over in my opinion. I feel like Shane, she's definitely struggling with this situation, but I felt like she could have expressed the struggle a bit more towards the reader. I totally agree with all of your guys' comments that abusive parents are everywhere and that I probably thought a bit too naive about this part of the review, but I do think it's really good to have that kind of representation in a book. But a lot of people base the quality of my review on that part of the video. While I had so many other points in this book which I totally didn't like, and I feel like people kind of glanced over that once I said the thing about the parents. <laughs> also this comment, you know the tea is gonna be good when you start with a heavy disclaimer. I mean, it's about a book from a super popular booktuber. How could I not start it with a heavy disclaimer when I have a negative opinion about it? Also a really, really good comment was the thing that worries me is that literally everyone who reviews this book picks it as a self insert and see Christine in every aspect of Shane. But when it comes to the abuse of the parents, which most people see as overreactive and over the top, particularly, particularly ugh, that word, in regards to the father, I haven't seen any reviewers say, I hope Christine is okay. I hope this isn't based on her own parents. And I hope that too. It just, I've seen her parents in quite some of her videos and they 
come across as really loving and very accepting but that also happens in the end of again but better her parents like kind of finally accept what makes her happy and i hope that christina's never experienced that as well but yeah there are other kind of things that if this is a self-insert how does christine feel about kind of cheating there was kind of a weird cheating situation in this book and i don't know how i feel about it and if this is a self-insert like what are shane's values that was what someone commented as well and i feel like yeah that's that's a good thing to think about okay the next comment i thought was really funny it says totally unrelated but your eyebrows are great <laughs> thanks girl eyebrows on fleek i just fill them in just a little bit and put some gel on them and that's all so thanks <laughs> someone else also said i mean i could already understand her feelings about the book from the thumbnail i did like all these texts like oh god no why so yeah those are my feelings when reading this book and i thought it would be funny to incorporate in the thumbnail a lot of the opinions a lot of the comments were that people were agreeing with me but a lot of them were about this parent situation and then some others also had some critique this is a comment that i really liked i think it's great to give your opinion on the book there can be so much improvement by giving criticism people People assume that others are being negative to purposely hurt someone. If everyone said that they liked the book and there was no criticism, the author wouldn't be able to improve. I'm really curious to see what Christine comes up next and I hope that everything that happened in this book and kind of the opinions of other people will kind of help her grow in like the writing section of her life. And yeah, like I said at the beginning of that video, it was totally not a personal attack on Christine. It was just my opinion about her book and I just wanted to have my opinion on the book itself and unfortunately I didn't like it. I do like Christine. I love watching her videos and she's such a fun person and my opinion about her hasn't changed still. So something that a lot of other people said and I only noticed this after I read a couple of you guys' comments is that they compared Again But Better to Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins and I have to agree that they do resemble each other like a lot. It's about a girl liking a guy who has a girlfriend and then it kind of like this weird cheating situation. It's also studying a bra somewhere and it resembled each other very much so someone said the plot reminds me of a mash between Christine writing a self-insert fan fiction and Anna and the French Kiss. I don't know if it really was like a Christine fan fiction kind of thing but it definitely kind of reminded me a lot of Anna and the French Kiss now that you guys mentioned it. I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing because there are probably a lot of other books that are about like studying abroad and liking a guy who has a girlfriend but yes Anna and the French Kiss and again but better very similar to each other. This comment didn't um, make me feel good at all. I'm sorry, you just sound really naive and there is no nice way to put that. A word of advice, books aren't written for you to measure them up to your life. They're telling a story. So either enjoy the story for what it is or maybe just stop judging. This comment, I didn't like it. I think especially the naive part was definitely true about the parent situation but about the other things I don't think I was naive at all. A lot of people said yeah you only don't enjoy the book because you cannot relate to Shane and what I've said to so many people is I have read so many books where I cannot relate to the main character at all and I still love those books. For instance my favorite fantasy book trilogy kind of is Rebel of the Sands and it's about this really badass girl who lives in the desert. She doesn't have any parents anymore. She is super good with guns and I cannot relate to her and her situation at all but it's one of my favorite books ever. Yes Shane annoyed me because she was kind of clumsy and just by the things that she sometimes said I didn't agree on. It's it's not that I didn't like this book solely on the fact that I couldn't relate to Shane at a certain level. Before I started reading this book, I thought this was going to be one of the most relatable things ever because I've experienced so many things that Shane has also experienced. I was like super late with starting things with boys and I also really feel like I'm not fulfilling my college experience in the full way. So yes, about the parents part, I was naive, but I think about all the other things that I said about this book, I wasn't naive at all. It was just my opinion and I am entitled to have an opinion. The thing why I don't love this comment at all is because the person is saying that you just have to enjoy a book for what it is, just accept everything that's in it, and if you don't enjoy it, uh-uh honey, don't judge it. I feel like everyone can have an opinion and right now it kind of felt like that person was kind of suppressing my feelings towards this book while I am valid to have an opinion about something and I just wanted to share it because I felt alone and after this video I've heard so many other people had the same opinion, some people had a different opinion of mine and that's totally okay. So 
So no, you don't have to accept a book for what it is. And yes, you can judge a book. Yeah, those are all the comments that I wanted to touch upon. I've had so many amazing comments. I've had some comments which I was like, okay, but I think it's really fun to have a discussion with you guys in the comments. And I think it's good to reflect on it as well because I've learned so much from this video. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for commenting and reacting to that video. It's amazing to see your guys' responses. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and you guys can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere on the screen or on the button down below. You can also follow me on all of my different social media pages. Because I'm a booktuber, of course I have Goodreads, but I also have Instagram, Snapchat, plus an email address and links to those will be in the description bar down below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope that I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!